Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, this one is quite specific, it's around uh, downloading uh, from MegaUp um, or a, you know, similar type of sites, um, you know, you can download there for whatever reason. Um, it's basically how to sort of get around all the, the ads and pop-ups and, and the rubbish that pops up. Um, so hopefully, nice, as I always say, quick and easy video of how to do it. Um, so just for a quick example, here's a link uh, on MegaUp. Um, it's got a few. This is a this is a shared folder, and a couple of files in here that you can download. So normal experience is that you click on there, it will take you to the page where it will then generate the link for you. But then you'll get all this kind of rubbish pop up, you, you know, pop ups here, fake chat um, requests, various uh, various rubbish and, and ads, etc. Um, and then you click on the link there to generate the link. And so you, a couple of times you might get. A fake link. Try it again. Basically, you just keep going until you get another mega up page. Again, this isn't a mega up page. This is some some rubbish. Click on it again and see that this time we've got a mega up page with the link. So this is the genuine page that we're we're waiting to get. And then you get the save as you can download as normal. And then so yeah, away you go. Um, now to make it easier and get rid of all that rubbish um i found the best way and a recommendation actually from from someone helping me out is to uh use obviously an, an ad blocker and great great to that is in firefox uh now what i'm gonna do is download show you how to download the portable version of firefox um because obviously you might already have edge or google you know chrome whatever as your as your standard browser your default browser you don't necessarily want to go and install another one I mean, obviously, if you've already got Firefox, then yep, you know, crack on. But if you want to, uh, this basically allows you to add Firefox but keep it separate. So basically, you can download the portable version. So portableapps.com. So I've just done a quick search on there for Firefox portable. Portableapps.com have basically been around for a long time. They basically create versions of apps that don't have a portable version. And by portable version, I mean um, something like Retrobat is portable because it's all self contained in one folder. Uh, same for something like Launchbox. Um, it's basically you can be basically in, they install in quotes to your to your machine. It will go all go into one folder. You can then work on it, configure it, and then basically pick up that folder, move it to another drive or another PC, and it will work because it's everything self-contained. It doesn't install system files into into other locations and that kind of stuff. That's what we're doing here. We're getting a, a portable version of of the Firefox browser. So just click on the link here. And in a couple of seconds, hopefully, we should get the uh, standard download. There we go. So then you click on save as and download. Obviously, to save it a bit of time, I've already done this. So if I just close this, bring this into view. So Firefox portable, just double click this. And just follow. So I'm going to stick it in on uh, C temp. Obviously, you can put it wherever you want. And then, so this is doing the install. When I say install, it's pretty much just copying all the files into this folder. Should just take a couple of seconds. And there we go, that's done. You can take on the box to run, but just do finish. Look inside the folder. And we've got Firefox Portal X here. So all these settings and Temporary files, everything are all stored within here, so like it's all self-contained. So you can quite easily just use this just to download stuff. So I'm just going to fire this up. Let's bring it into view. Yeah, yeah. Skip that for now. Yep, skip. And start browsing. So now we've got the browser up here. Open a couple of tabs for us. Just close those, uh, and then so what I'll do is I'll grab that that same link that I had a second ago. Um, actually, I don't need to do that first. You, you see what it looks like. So let's let's do the the ad blocking first. So you come up here. You got this little sort of puzzle jigsaw piece type icon. It's the extensions, and what we're going to do. So these are all the extra bits you can plug in or add on to uh, to Firefox. We'll do a search for add to guard. Or we'll actually spell it right. 
So here you go, add guard, add blocker. So it's this top one here, you can see, look, it's got what, nearly a million users, so it's, you know, it's popular. And you literally click on it and then click on add to Firefox. Should just download and install it. If you want to do this, it's going to have these permissions to Firefox, so say, yeah, it's fine. Allow it to run in private window, yeah. I'm not sure we need it or not, but let's just say yes. But then, uh, we should be good. So we go to extensions, we've got add enabled. So let's close this for a minute. Open up a new tab. Now let's paste in that link where we were a minute ago. Now, with any luck, we get the same thing again. This kind of file not found here at the bottom, that was there before anyway, but that seems to happen if you're browsing to a shared folder rather than a shared file. So I think you can just safely ignore that. These are the files we want up here. So let's let's click on one and it'll open up the same page. And so it's the same page as before with a generating link, but you notice there's no pictures and there's no pop-ups, there's no rubbish. You've literally just got the download link button. And I don't know, it's just for luck, but this time it's gone straight to the download page. There's no fake pop-ups, no fake pages. This where do you want to save it? So that's it. Um, so you can see, doing it like this, much, much nicer, cleaner experience. Let's just close that again, do it again, make sure it wasn't a fluke that we got there first time. Bring that down a bit. Paste that link back in. Again, we get the holding page again. Ignore this. Don't know why it does that, because we're showing off but uh, we're viewing a folder, not a file. And here's all our files. So let's pick a different one this time. Let's use the uh, link generation page. No ads will pop up so far. And straight to the download link. And we should get the standard. Yeah, we'll stick that in there. We'll do save this time. You can see the download speed's pretty quick. So yeah, that's it. So, that, so if you're downloading, obviously this is an example with Mega Up. Um, there's potentially, you know, it should work with, with other type of sites that have all those annoying pop-ups and, and adverts and spam. So yeah, um, hope that was useful. It should make downloading from things like Mega Up slightly easy and straightforward. So like I say, we're using the portable version of Firefox, so you can keep it in a separate folder. Just use it as and when you need it to download this, these types of things. Uh, yeah, so I hope that was that was useful. Um, as usual, please give the video a like, subscribe, get notifications of uh, new videos coming up. Um, I've just gone over the 1,000 subscriber mark, which is brilliant, so thank you everyone for support. Um, the other videos I'm working on, the, the, the Retro Bat um, guide and also the Batter Serial guide I just started, they're continuing. Um, so yeah, everything's good and thanks for watching, hope you carry on watching and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.